Hi guys, like I said in the last video, I will be going over some of the comments regarding parry. Here are the questions that I've tested. Is the parrying dagger different from a dagger with an Ash of War parry? Is there a difference from going into parry animation if you are starting from a block stance? Is there a difference between left hand parry and right hand parry? What happens to your parry if you don't have any FP for the special parry skill? We're going to discuss the parrying dagger and the left hand and right hand parry all in one go. As you can see in the footage, I'm already using the parrying dagger and the parry frames start at the 13th frame. It doesn't matter if it's left or right, it's still gonna be the same. I'm not a souls guy, I'm just a monster hunter counting frames on a video editing software. So we can say that the parrying dagger is not special at all and left and right hand parrying is the same. But wait a sec, Ang. In your last video, the frames for the dagger is 12 slash 9, not 13 slash 9. Are you unreliable now? Here's the crazy part. I revisited that footage and I found out that elevation sometimes Fs up the frames. Like if your foot is slightly elevated or both feet are not leveled, it would either take a frame out or add a frame. I would gladly admit that I am wrong, but I feel like I'm not. It's not simply just putting up your foot higher than the other. I was able to replicate the footage with the dagger easily, but for the buckler, it's hard. What do I mean? Here I am testing out the frames for the buckler. My character's feet are leveled and for my eyes seems like on the level surface and it gets one more additional parry frame. It was 8 and 11 before, and now it's 8 and 12. I went back to the footage in the last video and noticed that the hell? My foot was elevated somewhat in that footage. I recounted the frames there like 10 times, and I'm dead sure it's 8 and 11. I tried to replicate the buckler with 8 and 11 frames, but it's hard because it's simply not just putting your foot higher than the other. Maybe the direction also matters, but I don't want to do it anymore because it's just one frame difference, man. Anyway, moving on. The footage you are seeing now would make you see if parrying from a block stance gives you different results. So yeah, it doesn't. It's still the same. So it doesn't matter if you parry from neutral or parry from blocking. Still the same timing technically. For the special parries like golden parry, carry and retaliation, etc. It is safe to say that if you don't have FP to pull it off, the parry frames would be degraded to a normal parry. And be wary, a normal parry becomes affected if you are wearing a small shield or a medium shield. So if you want to keep those juicy parry frames, keep that FP up. With regards to the parry boxes of these parries like Golden claiming to be having a wider horizontal parry box and Carry and Retaliation to be having more of a vertical cone shaped parry box, I have messaged Souls Modder for the info. Maybe they'll put it out in their channel in the near future. I, I don't know. Anyway, some stuff got cleared. The questions that I did not put in this video are questions I can't answer myself. So yeah, like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.